What's up guys, Hicking here, bringing you some more news, this time uh, some gaming news. Uh, remember to like and subscribe please, uh, thank you. Uh, and yeah, Splinter Cell apparently is coming back. Splinter Cell is apparently making a return. Ubisoft reportedly developing a new Splinter Cell game. This is funny as hell because um, uh, the other day I was on Reddit and there was a post that someone made about uh, what happened to that Splinter Cell game that was leaked uh, a few years back, and, they, and there was like a there was like a picture and image of all the supposed games that were in development that were confirmed, and Splinter Cell was among those list of games, and all of those games got 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 revealed, announced, and are coming out. Splinter Cell was the only one left out, so it's like what what happened? And then the next day, in this case today, announcement. Reportedly, Ubisoft's making a new Splinter Cell game, so it's like, wow, uh, talk about the timing there. <laughs> Whoever made that post, you got a congratulations because you got that bloody right, man. Uh, um, not right, but in terms of like, yeah, you did point it out, and look at that, it happened. But uh, yeah, let's let's read this report from uh, IGN. Ubisoft has reportedly greenlit development of a new mainline Splinter Cell game. If the rumor proves true, it'll be the first core entry in the Tom Clancy stealth series since 2013's Splinter Cell Blacklist. So let that sink in. We haven't had a Splinter Cell game since 2013. Okay, and Splinter Cell Blacklist was the last one that we got. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Splinter Cell Blacklist would be number. Six of the series, unless you count the PSP game, in which case number seven. Um, Splinter Cell One, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Splinter Cell Chaos, Fu Chaos Fury, best one in the series by far. And we had two different versions of Splinter Cell Double Agent, uh, ver very different games, and both, in my opinion, were very bloody good. Um, except for the PS3 version of a Double Agent, which uh, was a very bad bastardization of the Xbox uh, 360 version, sadly. Um, but yeah, and then we got Convictions, which was exclusive to 360. That's 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 never been ported. Which, you know, I kind of got a weird feeling uh, that maybe we'll, we'll get that in a bundle, maybe. Like, I would really like to play that one, but that wasn't really a stealth game. That was a pure action game. And then, of course, there was the PSP uh, game, Essentials, uh, which, weirdly enough, I think was a sequel to the uh, PS2 and Xbox version of Double Agent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like uh, the two, the two different versions that we got were very, were vastly very different games in a way. Um, story beats were very different as well. And then of course we got Blacklist. Uh, and Blacklist, oof. Um, I remember enjoying it. I did remember enjoying it, but it was way too fast paced for my good. Like, um, and I didn't like how they replaced Michael Ironside um, and how they changed Sam Fisher's character as well. Like. If they were going to do that, if they wanted us to play like a faster Sam Fisher or something, they should have just had Sam Fisher be a, a commander or whatever, the new Lambert basically. Because essentially he is the new Lambert in that game, he's the one giving the orders with his team. And they should have just had us play a new character with, with Sam Fisher being in the background and this way you get Michael Ironside back and we get to play as someone new. Which, to be fair, you kind of do, but, but in the last level you do play as, uh, for the majority of it, you do play as the, as the other as the other character, you know, it'll be quiz and it's revealed, oh, you've been playing him the whole time, and then you go to playing Sam Fisher for, like, the final uh, boss fight or whatever. Like I said, I do remember that being a pretty good game, but way too fast-paced. Uh, the way the way Chaos Fury was done and handled, that was a lot better, like, I'm hoping if this is legit, they go back to that. In terms of whether this is true or not, I mean, uh, let's let's continue reading here. A report from BGC claims multiple development sources have revealed that a new Splinter Cell is in an early phase of production with a small chance of the game being announced in 2022. The project has apparently been greenlit as part of an effort to appease frustrated Tom Clancy and Splinter Cell fans who have been less than happy with Ubisoft's treatment of the brand over the last decade. No further details were provided in the report, aside from the suggestion that the new Splinter Cell be, uh, will be developed outside of Ubisoft's flagship Montreal studio. Ubisoft and Montreal developed key Splinter Cell games, including the original Chaos Fury and Conviction. The most recent Blacklist was developed at Ubisoft Toronto. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, first off, I've, I've not played a Ubisoft game in years. I'm trying to remember what the last one was. I think the last one I played, and this was actually recent, because I decided just to give it a chance, was uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, I didn't enjoy my time playing that game. Um, and I haven't enjoyed my time playing a spit, you know, an Assassin's Creed game since since Brotherhood, I think. So Revelations and and Assassin's Creed Three really bought the crap out of me, and I and I and I and I tried to get back into it, and it didn't work. Like I didn't like Black Flags, and uh, as far as Far Cry games go, for example, the only one 
I've ever played to this day was Far Cry 3. And I never bothered playing any of the other games because I pretty much got burnt out halfway through the game. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm never, I'm never playing another Far Cry game again. Um, and I haven't. I've not played Watch Dogs. I've never played a Rainbow Six game. Really, the only franchise that I really loved from Ubisoft was, was Splinter Cell. And we haven't had a Splinter Cell game in, in years. And it makes me very worried in terms of what direction they'll go with it. Because uh, you look at a lot of the Ubisoft games that are out now. And they're all pretty much similar. Open world. Little fetch quests. Little crap thrown in here and there. Do that and repeat a dozen bloody times over and over again. I want a very good single player linear. As linear as you can get anyway. Game with good areas and environments to traverse. And just have that sort of chaos theory feeling, if you will, with maybe an uh, like the elements of Blacklist thrown in there. But um, yeah, like yeah, I'm I'm very I'm, I'm dreading at the same time what what direction they're going to go in there because they could really screw this up. And if if that's what it's going to be like, it's it's like why am I even going to bother playing it? But yeah, um, one of the things the re one of the things that I believe that this is true is because next year is the 20th anniversary of the Splinter Cell series. Next year is the 20th anniversary, so for all we know, we could end up getting a remake, actually, which I wouldn't mind, because I think the original Spinner Cell is a very good bloody game, and I wouldn't mind uh, getting a remake that sort of combines all the best bits of Chaos Fury and Blacklist together to give us, like, this big remake experience, because now it seems like a trend now these days, because uh, they did a, they've done it with Resident Evil, uh, Final Fantasy VII... So, what are the games are getting remakes these days? Do you know what I mean? So, like, it feels like a thing that certain game companies are doing now, and everyone's trying to sort of, uh, it's like a band, it's like the, it's like a bandwagon. They're all trying to get into it, into the action, if you will. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious and very worried about what the future will entail for Spinner Cell. But for now, it seems it is happening. Even though it's a rumor for now, it is a rumor technically speaking. But I think it is holding a bit true because it's a long time coming, and it is the 20th anniversary next year. So. I'm assuming the game will officially get announced next year for a release, maybe in 23, maybe sort of like an anniversary to uh, Blacklist, like the 10 year anniversary, if you will. But yeah, I'm curious, I'm curious uh, what's going to happen. Um, uh, fingers crossed it's going to be good. Anyway, guys, that's my report for that. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye. And may the shadows be with you. <laughs> Or embrace the shadows. Is that is that is that is that the tagline he would say? Embrace the shadows or become one with the shadows. Whatever guys, I'm not really it's been years since I played a Spinner Cell game. I need to really get back into it actually. Bought the HD collection recently and I barely touched it, so I guess I really should sit down and play it. <laughs> take care guys, take care.